Come on, turn it on. Hey. This is Alex. And, uh, of course, her mom is Erin. Is right here. It's Les's granddaughter. Les and Barbara's granddaughter. Mom, Erin, right here. And, uh... Yes, she got siblings here. Yes. All here to see her get baptized. Amen, today. amen. And uh, you may remember some years ago, uh, this girl survived being ran over by a tractor. Yeah. Literally ran over by a tractor. Mm -hmm. and, Thank you, uh, Lord. But here she is, and she, she's uh, confessing Jesus Christ as Lord today. Amen. 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 So she was spared for such a day as this. Yes, yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Alex, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Will you serve him all the days of your life? Amen. Amen. And upon your profession of faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, we baptize you, our sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with Jesus in baptism, raised to walk with Him again in the new life. Amen, amen, amen. Glory. Glory. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Baptize his granddaughter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I hadn't seen her in a long time. When she walked in, I was going to talk to her. I had to look up to her. <laughs> I'm 5'9", and she's 5'10". <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. When she encountered the tractor, we shall say, I remember that Jim Childress told us the first time she came to church with us after that, that this child was blessed, that God had saved her for special things. Yes, he did. Amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of heaven and earth. Amen. 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 Listen, when you come to the Father's house, uh, we don't believe in giving you a snack. We're going to give you the full meal deal every amen, time. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We don't snack on junk food. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We believe in order for a person to be spiritually healthy, just like it in order to be physically healthy, that you must get spiritual meat. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you need milk, we'll give you milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yep. Yeah, I, I, we were praying Tuesday night and, and, um, and in our Tuesday night prayer meeting and a couple of things came to me. Um, one thing that, that, just, that just spoke in my spirit was that, you know, Jesus said in the, in, the, in the Sermon on the Mount, in the Gospel of Matthew, he said that the church, or his, the body of Christ, the church, is to be like a city set on a hill. And, uh, and I know what that means, but I never interpreted it so much as I would at, at, at nighttime. You can see a city, whether it's on a hill or not, in the daytime. But at nighttime, if there's a city that's lit up, you can see it from far away if you were traveling at night. Which, is, by the way, that mo many travelers, most travelers travel by night because of, of the conditions of the heat. And it was cooler at night. Well, they didn't have street lights. They didn't have, uh, uh, you know, electricity in their houses. And the way they, the way that you had light at night was to have a lamp uh, that would that would be powered by olive oil. And so Jesus says that individually or as a household, he said, put your lamp on a lampstand. If you put your lamp on a lampstand, that's in your own house. It'll light up the whole hill. It'll give light to the whole house. Now, don't think of your, don't think of our three thousand square foot, two story homes today. Think of what those houses were back then. It was probably one large room. Right. Amen. Maybe a small room. 
They said, put your, put your lamp on a lampstand and it'll give light to the whole house. So if, the, if every house had a lamp on the lampstand in the entire city, then if you were traveling at night, you could see the city so long as the lamps were lit. Amen. That's right. So collectively, the church, as each of us has our, has our light, because Jesus said, you are the light of the world. And if our lampstand is burning, Come on. then, then we, can be, we, can be, we can be seen. We can be seen. Yeah. And so, um, one of the things that we're, that, we're, that we're called to do is to show Christ to others. Amen. Show Christ to others. Reflect Him. Yeah. And, and there is, I said to the youth Wednesday night, I got had to pinch hit Wednesday night, a man that was sick, and I pinch hit in, uh, in the youth service and, and preached. And I said to them, there, uh, uh, there are just three kinds of people. There are those who see, those who can see when they're shown, and those who refuse to see. Mm-hmm. Now, if you refuse to see, it doesn't matter if I show you. Yep. Mm-hmm. I can show you something and you'll refuse to see. That's right. That's the way we are. That's the way our political world is in America right now. Doesn't matter what someone would show you. Uh, you're going to refuse to see it. That's right. And 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 it can be that way in in, in the body of Christ and and in us as we, as we as we reflect Christ to others. If they won't, if they won't, if they're willing to be shown, we can show them. Amen. But if they refuse to see. You know, Jesus, Jesus said there, there is a time when someone refused to see that you wipe the dust of your feet off. Because right. right. you may be spending so long trying to get someone who's refusing to see to see something that you're missing a lot of people who, can, who will see once they're shown. Right. 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 We get too caught up in the people who refuse to see. Yep. We spend a lot of time on people who refuse to see. Come on. That's right. There's a lot of people out there who will, who will see when they're shown. We need to reach out to them. That's right. Amen? So we need to be, once we're able to see, you know, first we were shown. We were those people that we, were, we could see once we were shown. Now we can see. Now we can show others. Hallelujah. Amen. That's how the body of Christ grows. That's how it enlarges. That's how it increases. And so, um, one other thing that, 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 that happened, and this is what I want to preach about this morning. The uh, and the title of the message is "The Tide Is Rising." The tide is rising, and um, one of the things is we were. I had I just had this vision while we were praying of a of a rapidly rising river, a rapidly rising river. Now, if you if Floodwaters come, and there's enough of the floodwaters, and it gets to your door. You're not going to keep it out of your door. I don't care how many sandbags you put down. Right. If it rises enough, it's coming in. It's getting in your house. Yeah. Amen. Period. And the tide is rising in the world today. I, I, I was saying this when I first started preaching, but I believe it to be true now today more than any time in my ministry. We are really, truly, in not just the last days, but the very last days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe that. Amen. We're in the last days. That's right. Yes, we are. I mean, the river is rising. Yes, it is. Amen. And when the river rises, it will get in your house. Yes, it will. No matter what you do. So you can refuse to see, but one day every eye will see. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Even those who refuse to see, yes. every eye is going to see. One day every knee is going to bow. Even those knees that refuse to bow. Amen. One day every knee is going to bow. One day every mouth is going to confess. Even those mouths who have refused to confess. One day every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. The river is rising. The tide is rising. 
And listen, it, 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 this is both good and bad. Come on. It's good and bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're, if you're in Christ, it's good. That's right. <laughs> if you're not in Christ, it's bad. That's right. Amen. Amen. For those of us that are in Christ Jesus, listen, when we, 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 we become a sweet-smelling aroma to those who are willing to be shown. Yes. But to those who refuse to see, we are the are stench, a stench in their nostrils. That's right. That's right. They don't like the smell of you coming. That's right. They don't like the sound of your voice. <laughs> Let me tell you, we are living in days right now where you, you can't even have a civil discussion about certain things. Amen. The tide is rising. Amen, amen. And you said, Brother Tom, I came here this morning to get some real good news. I've got good news for you. Amen. Amen. I came to get good news. I've got good news for you. But I've got to tell you, i got to tell you where this good news is going to get its, uh, where it's going to kick in for you. Because not every day is going to be roses. Yeah, that's right, amen. And listen, we can we can no longer we need listen we need to vote people in who believe in in, in the freedom of worship. Yes. Don't misunderstand me. Yes, amen, amen. But you cannot depend on the government. Come on. Yeah, that's right. If you need to, if you need the government to secure your 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 uh, your safety and in, in worshiping God. Probably you're not going to last too long when the real persecution is. Yeah. If we can't speak up for Jesus when there's just a conversation in the workplace, and he's being he's being mocked and 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 and, and scorned, and there's something in our heart that aches and we want to say something, but we're afraid. Two other people will be mad at us if we say something. We certainly aren't, if, if that's us, we certainly aren't going to make it when the real, when the tide rises and it gets all of our houses. Amen. So, having said that, and setting that up, let's, let's, let's look at some scriptures in Matthew. We are in the last days. The tide is rising. Amen. Matthew chapter 10, we could read all of this, but I just began to, wanted to pick up in verse 27. You could read this whole chapter, but I want to uh, uh, pick up in, in verse 27. Jesus says, whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the daylight. What is whispered in your ear, proclaim from the roost. Jesus said, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you some things when you're having your, your secret time with me. I'm going to reveal some things to you. And don't you dare be afraid to speak them out. Don't be intimidated by anyone. Amen. Verse 28. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Yeah. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body. In hell. He said, listen, there's, there, there's, there's a, a bigger fish to fry here than just worrying about what somebody thinks about you when you're living for Christ. When everything around you is, is living anti-Christ. He said, well, I, I just, I just, I, I don't like not being liked. Well, there's a, there's much, a much bigger uh, reward at stake here than whether People think you're the greatest person in the world or not. He said, don't don't fear what people may say about you or think about you or do to you. Mm -hmm. Our our biggest fear ought to be the one who created us, who made us. Mm -hmm. The one to whom we claim to have trust and faith in. So he says, when I tell you something, when I whisper in your ear, when I'm telling you something, and I'll tell you when to speak it out, you speak it out. You're to be my witnesses. And the only way you're going to have the power to speak out what God is speaking is to have the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was given that we might be witnesses. Amen. Amen. Glory. Verse 29. Are not two sparrows sold for a copper coin? And not one of them falls to the ground apart from your Father's will. Verse 30. (laughs) But even the very hairs of your head are all 
number. number. Verse 31. Yes. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Mm -hmm. In other words, don't, don't devalue yourself. Don't see your value in how other people see you. That's right. I see you as valuable. Yeah. That's right. We are, we are God's special possession. Amen. We're, we're a chosen generation. That's right. That's right. Not just this generation. We, 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 we were joined together with a great cloud of witnesses. Yes. Amen. Going all the way back to the first Adam. This whole generation. Is a chosen people. Yes, hallelujah. Loved and valued by God, cherished by Him. He loved us so much that He sent His only Son Amen. to secure our place in His family. Amen. Hallelujah. We are greatly loved, greatly valued. Verse 32. Whoever acknowledges me before others, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. Verse 33. But whoever disowns me before others, I will disown before my Father in heaven. Strong words, isn't it? Yes. He said, hey, hey, listen. If we're going to be one, if, if, I, if we're going to, if, if, if I, you're going to make your abode with me and the Father, and the Father and I are going to abide in you and you and us, hey, you, you've got to acknowledge that. That's right. That's right. Come on, who? Anybody here got a wife or a husband that you secretly married? You got them stashed away somewhere? <laughs> you don't want anybody to know? I'm sure some of you in here have one you'd like to do that <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> but when we, when we say and claim and confess and believe and are born again by the Spirit of God and we've created a new man, we, we need to remove ourselves from any position that would deny Christ. Yeah. That's right, amen. He's amen. redeemed us. The psalmist, uh, David said in Psalm 103, He redeemed our lives from destruction. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. He said, don't deny me. Remember, go back to verse 27. I'm going to speak some things to you in secret. I'm going to tell you some things. Will you speak them out? Don't deny me. Amen. Don't deny me. Confess me before men. Amen. Even if it costs you something, yes. confess him before yes. men. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Listen, we need a church today that's not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. That's Christ. right. Amen. Amen. We need the true church of God to rise up. Amen. And quit straddling the fence post. Quit straddling the line. Some of you in this room need to quit straddling the line between being led of the Spirit and being fed of the world. Yes, that's right. Hallelujah. Preach it. Verse 34. Now this one, this one will knock your socks off. And before we read it, you probably already read it. It's behind me. You probably already read it. Before you read this, just remember, this isn't the same Jesus. Amen. The same God who the scripture says is love. Come on. This is the same God who said he's long-suffering, willing that none should perish. This is the same God who for so loved the world that He said His Son. <laughs> this is the same Jesus who said, My peace I leave with you. Amen. Watch what He says. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring, bring peace, but a sword. Amen. Verse 35. I have come... I have come, Jesus said, to turn a man against his father. Wow. A daughter against her mother. A daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Verse 36. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Yeah. That's 
That's right. Amen. See, when the tide rises, it's going to get in every house. That's right. It's going to get in every house. Jesus is saying, listen, if, you're, if your dad tells you to deny me, you'd be better off becoming a divided household. Yes, amen. If your mother tells you to denounce me, you'll be better off having a divided household. Because when I come, this is what he's saying, when I come, I draw a line in the sand, and you're on one side or the other. You can't be on both sides. That's right, amen. That's right. You cannot serve him from both sides of the border. That's right. We serve him from the kingdom of God. Yes, amen. We don't serve him from the world. That's right. Amen. But yet many have bought into this lie. That we need to do whatever it is to make ourselves friends mm. with the world. But the Bible says that friendship with the world is enmity Against with God. God. That's right. Amen. To make ourselves a friend of the world, by that we're talking about the culture, the society, the, the values that it sets up. Mm. To make ourselves a friend of that makes us an enemy of God. I'm here to tell you today the tide is rising. Amen. More and more this, 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 this whole notion of a man serving God, a woman serving God, a family serving God is becoming more and more offensive to this society. I'm telling you the line has been drawn. Yes. That's right. This is no more evident than when you find someone who marries an unbeliever. And I'm not talking about just kind of a, a nonchalant unbeliever that just says to their spouse, well, you can serve your God, just, you know, don't tell me about it. If you're a real God lover, you're a true servant of God. It's going to be very difficult to have peace in that home. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Choose your mate wisely. wisely. Amen. Because the Bible says the two of you become one. Yes. And households can be divided over the worship of God. Come on. That's right. That's right. I'm not saying you take up a sword and kill each other. <laughs> right. You might just have a fight in the car over the radio. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> One of you is trying to, the, 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 the God lover is trying to play some, some worship music. <laughs> and the other one that doesn't care anything about God is. Come on. Whoops. I want some of that music that teaches me how to leave my wife and, and get drunk and sleep with whoever I want to. That's the kind of music I want on the radio. Mm -hmm. but that feeds my soul. Feed your flesh. I want a song about whose boots are under my bed tonight. The other one wants a song about worshiping and proclaiming the majesty yes, of the amen, Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me ask you, which which is more is healthier for a family? Which is healthier for the kids in the back seat to hear? Yes, amen. Preach it. Be constantly fed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Preach it. That if you can't be with the one you love, just love the one you're with. Nope. No. <laughs> no. Or songs about commitment. Yes. Songs about faithfulness. Yes. Well, Brother Tom, that just goes in here and one out. One in, in one ear and out the other ear. No, it can doesn't. I tell you that's not true? No. My wife and anybody that knows me can tell you that a song will come out of me out of I have no clue what I'm thinking about. I'll start singing some old song from the seventies. It's not a Christian song. I'm not, I don't mean it's got bad language. I mean, I'm just going, man, there's a lot of songs in me. Mm -hmm. I must have, I've spent most of the 70s yes. buried in music. Yes, 
we did. <laughs> and none of it edifying. That's right. Come on. That's right. Jesus said, I'm going to speak some things to you in secret. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. And I want you, when I tell you something, to not be ashamed of me. Don't be ashamed of what I've spoken to you. Don't be ashamed of our relationship. If you deny me before men, I'll deny you before the Father. Don't be ashamed of our relationship. Listen, if you're hanging out with people that you can't be honest about your relationship with Jesus Christ, you can't be honest that you're a believer, a Christian. Come on, you need to find some new friends. That's right, amen. Amen. Right, right. amen. Now, if you're there to try to win them to Jesus, then you're not there to be silent. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's because right. if they can see if they're shown, then you have to show them something. But silence isn't showing a lot. That's right. And joining in with them in their in their in their uh, coarse conversations is not showing them anything. So if you're going, if we're going to use the excuse that I I've got to hang out with sinners if I'm going to get them saved, I'll go along with you. But if you're hanging out with sinners and you never show Jesus, you're hanging out for the wrong reason. That's right, Lord. Amen. Let's just be real honest. You're hanging out because you really like being around it. That's right. Preach it. It really still moves you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. I have no problem with going and I mean I'm not saying I do. I have no problem with any any evangelist walking into the bar. That's right. If they're going in going in there to win people to Jesus. Amen. Or drag them out. <laughs> uh, Terry and Linda and Cindy and I used to go to a conference every year called the Street Ministers Conference. Mm -hmm. Scott Hinkle would put on in Dallas, Texas and and uh, they were, I don't remember the man's name now, but him and his wife, that's what they did. Their whole ministry, I can't even what it was called, but they actually went into bars, ordered a Coke, or Dr. Pepper, but anyway, water, and they, and they witnessed to people. One time he told the story about how he got up on the table and started preaching. <laughs> and I'm sure he was following the lead of the Spirit. He didn't just walk in and make a scene. So listen, there's, there, the, listen, we we can we can hang with sinners. We have to. There's sinners is what we're supposed to be trying to get saved. That's right. That's who we're supposed to help. That's right. 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 We can hang with them, but there's still got to be a line drawn in the sand when we're hanging out with them. Right. Jesus hung out with sinners. Yes, he did. But he didn't partake in their sin. That's right. Because That's if he had right. partaken in their sin, it would have disqualified him for taking their sin later. If he'd have partaken in their sin, he couldn't take their sin later. He who knew no sin became sin. Amen. So that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He who knew no sin, that was Jesus. Had he partaken in the sin, he would have been disqualified right. for being our Redeemer, our Messiah, our Savior, our Deliverer. Amen, amen. So sure he, he, he was he was accused all the time because he chose to hang out with sinners, but he did not participate in their sin. He loved them in their sin. He came to show them the way. That's right. That's right. Let's skip over to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Beginning in verse 1. The tide is rising. See if you don't see a rising tide in the things we're about to read. But mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves. You think that's on the rise? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you think selflessness is rising or selfishness? Mm. Selfishness, yeah. Yeah. But we, we have we have raised a selfie generation. Yes, we have. It's all about the me. It's all about the me. <laughs> the me. The me. It's all about the me. Come on, Daphne. It's all about the me. That's all Timothy don't remember. <laughs> People will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. There's you some music to dance to. <laughs> Did I get somebody going? Is somebody about to bust a move out? Somebody's phone is. <laughs> 
Okay. Whoops. Notice this says lovers of money. Money in and of itself is not evil. That's right. It's the love of money. That's right. That produces evil. Lovers of money. Boastful. I, I think we're definitely getting less boastful. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the days, it's something as simple as this. This is probably a terrible example. But I remember the days when, when if you liked football, when you watched football, um, Darrell Royal would tell his, tell his team, this is what Jim Childers told me, Darrell Royal would tell his, his players, when you make a touchdown, act like you've actually been across the goal line before and just go back to the sideline. <laughs> What, what do we do now? I mean, it's the most boastful yeah. display of look at me. Mm -hmm. Right? right. right. Mm -hmm. And I'm not picking on football. I mean, that's in, that's in everything. Mm -hmm. Boastful. Pr pride is on the rise. It's not, humility is not on the rise. Uh, boastfulness is. Mm -hmm. Proud is, right. is, is the next one. Abusive. Mm. You think abuse is on the rise? Yeah. Sure it is. I mean, it's, 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 it's out of control. Disobedient to their parents. Now, see, I don't believe that. I think kids are getting more obedient. Whatever. I think kids today are more obedient to authority than ever. No. Now, listen. This is not a knock on kids because it's how they're raised. That's right. Preach it. If you were the rebel and you're raising children, you're probably raising rebels. <laughs> True. If there was a lack of respect between husband and wife, it's true. A lack of respect from dad to children. Remember, the Bible says fathers don't provoke your children. Right. There's a lot of there's a lot of layers to, to this to this uh, disobedient to their parents that that, that can breed that. Mm -hmm. Because listen. As, as we grow, we grow into beings who want to do our own thing. And it starts at about two. What, 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 what are you, when your children start able to walk and talk, and all the things you've done for them, what do they start saying to you now? I can do it. I can do it by myself. I don't need any help. That's right. It's just part of human nature. Suddenly, we, you know, we, want to, we, 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 we think we got this. We got it, and 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 this and and we and so our job is is to is to teach a child how to respect the voice of authority, unless that voice of authority means evil. And so disobedient to their parents is that on the rise? I think it is. Uh, ungrateful, unholy. Next verse. Without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good. Mm. Next verse. <coughs> Treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Mm. The tide is rising. Tide is high, but I'm holding on. Yeah. <laughs> See, that was one of those songs that were blasting my past. Yeah, that wasn't a Christian song by any means. <laughs> Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. I have nothing to do with such people. Wow. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Jesus, you said, don't think I came to bring peace, but a sword. A sword. Where have I seen something about a sword? Oh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The Word of God is a sword. The Word of God will separate our thoughts and our intentions. 
It'll separate our soul, yeah. that place that we make decisions and, and where our personality is. It'll separate our soul from the Spirit of God. Amen. So we can find out, God, is that your spirit or is that just me? Mm -hmm. Me or you? What is that? The Word of God will show you. God, what, what's my intentions in this? Am I motivated by greed or am I motivated by love? The Word of God will show you this. Amen. See, God, this, 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 this idea that God brings a sword, the sword begins on us. It cuts out the stony heart. Yeah. And we get a new heart. Yeah. Amen, amen. It's a rising tide. Having a form of godliness. You mean all of those things that he mentioned? Are you, are, are you kidding me? All of those things that he mentioned. That every one of us would go, that's not good. Ooh, that one's not good. That one's not good. And all those things that collectively he says, having a form of godliness. Uh-oh. You mean a man that beats his wife could have a form of godliness? Yes. Yes. Someone that abuses their children yes. can have a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. Someone that's boastful <coughs> and proudful can have a form of godliness. <laughs> Notice though, it's just a form. <laughs> like you know, someone says, fill out this form. <laughs> Many of us just filled out a form at church. Mm -hmm. I join this church as a believer of Jesus Christ. Mm. But the power of God was never in us. Mm -hmm. We denied the power that could change us. Right. Right. We denied the power that would set us free. Mm -hmm. we, just, we just filled out the form. That's right. uh -huh. mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that have filled out the forms mm -hmm. but have no power. That's right. Come That's on. right. The tide is rising. Mm -hmm. Now here is the good news. Because I know that I am speaking to people this morning who won't deny the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if you do, you don't want to. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 34. Michael, you don't have this one. I'm just going to read it. He says, the prophet Jeremiah says, their redeemer is strong. The Lord Almighty is his name. He will vigorously defend their cause so that he may bring rest to their land, but unrest to those who live in Babylon. Babylon is simply a, a, a um, allegory, a metaphor for the world. For those who oppose God. The Lord. Their Redeemer. He is strong. Amen. Come on. If we, if, 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 if we would believe. That what God is speaking to us. Uh, that we would, we would have the courage. To speak it out. To shout it from the rooftop. Amen. Yeah. If we would have the courage. To put our lamp on the lampstand. Quit hiding it under a bushel basket. Yeah. Quit hiding it behind. A, a computer screen. Quit hiding it behind some type of, uh, uh, of, of, of fantasy life that we're living. We would dare to put it on the lampstand. Then collectively we could be that city set on a hill. Amen. Now here's the thing. When a city is set on a hill, that means it's visible. Yeah. That's right. Which means it's not only visible to those who wish to be shown, but it's also visible to those who hate it. Amen. That's right. Well, that's the reason, Brother Tom, that I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm more quiet, more reserved about my faith. I, 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 I'm, then I, I don't want to be persecuted. Mm -hmm. Well, you better get ready because the yes, tide is rising. Yes, amen. amen. That's right. We better get in tribulation practice right now. Now, 
Do I think uh, uh, that we're ripe for a great revival? I sure do. Yes, yeah. amen. And I want to be part of it. Yes. Amen. But if you think a great revival is going to sweep the U.S. or the world worldwide and every person's going to go, woohoo, I'm happy, I'm happy. No. What will happen is that tide is rising. When the presence of God is rising, the presence of evil, evil is rising. That's right. That's right. When that tide is rising, when that sword gets drawn, Jeremiah said to a nation that was being held captive by an evil, to an Israel that was being held captive by an evil Babylon, he said, Your Redeemer is strong. The Lord Almighty is his name. Yeah. And he will vigorously defend your cause so that he may bring rest to your land. Yes, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The river's rising. And it's going to touch every house. That's right. I mean, you could say, I'm just an atheist. I'm not, I'm not in this game. I mean, you could be like John Lennon and say, Imagine there's no heaven, no hell beneath us, above us only sky. And we could kumbaya, imagine no religion. Yeah. Nuh -uh. John Lennon found out one way or the other. Yes, he did. <laughs> Everybody loves that song. Imagine all the people. You know, he, he, what he's saying is, we would live life in peace if there was just no religion. Whoops. Nah, we could sing kumbaya and chant across the earth. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jesus said, yes, I came. I came to bring individuals peace. Anyone who would hear my truth and set them free. <laughs> And I'll, my peace will abide with them. But don't think I came to bring peace to the whole earth. No, I came to bring a sword. Yes. yes. Because when you choose to follow me, yes. there's going to be a battle that comes with that. That's right. yes. There's a battle that comes. There's a war that comes That's with right. that. Amen. Yes. That's right. Yes, there is. And it's going to get greater, my friends. Mm -hmm. This war is going to be greater than just somebody saying, I'm not going to talk to you anymore if you talk about that Jesus. Sayonara. Exactly. I mean, come on. How hard is that? That's not persecution. That's right. That's right. That's going to be like the snowflakes. <laughs> the, the days that are coming, the tide is rising. It's going to be no place for snowflake Christianity. That's right. Oh, Amen. Preach it. And I, and I suggest it's time to get ready. We need to get... We need to get Arrayed in our battle garments. Come on. Amen. It's not the time for play church. That's right. Not the time to, time to have the kind of, you know, not the time to just put your hands together and say, uh, here's the church and here's the steeple, open the door and here's all the people. <laughs> not time for play church. That's right, amen. That's right. It's not time for the only prayer we pray every day is, God is great, God is good. Let him thank him for our food. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible thought to have at night. Who <laughs> taught a child that prayer? <laughs> oh, I might die tonight. Lord, take my soul if I do. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's, 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 it's time to put away childish things. Right. Paul said when I was a child, I spoke as a child. Mm -hmm. But when I became an adult, I spoke as a man. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Jesus is still at work. Amen. All we have to do is lift Him up. Yes. We just have to proclaim Him and praise Him yes. and worship Him. Amen. We just have to make Him famous, as Don Babin said. Amen. Just proclaim His goodness. Yes. Amen. Tell Amen. the world who He is. Yes. Amen. Let's Amen. show those who will see once they're shown. Yes. 
don't let's don't spend any more time with people who refuse to see. That's right. And if they remove from refusal to okay, now you can show me, then we'll show them. Exactly. Yes, amen. Exactly. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make a horse That's drink. Right. Amen. That's right. Let's quit getting offended when somebody doesn't believe us when we tell them about Jesus. It's okay. It's all right. Not everybody believed Jesus. So I was thinking about, and I'll close with this. When Jesus fed 5,000 hungry people, people that came out to see and hear him. See, those 5,000 people didn't gather for Jan Peter, James, and John, the 12 disciples. Come on. Come on. They gathered to hear Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's right. An amazing thing happens. The disciples say to Jesus, they're hungry. He said, well, feed them. We're supposed to feed them. We, you don't think we didn't think of that? But we, we got enough just for lunch for each of us. We're going to gather what you got. Bring it here. And sit them down. Give them an orderly fashion. And somebody counted them because we knew there was 5,000. Yep. Right? Yes. That's what I was thinking. See, the thing. we can, they came to see Jesus, but Jesus invited the disciples to partake in the miracle. Right. That's right. Come on. Amen. The disciples didn't do the miracle. That's Jesus right. did the miracle. That's right. Amen. He invited them to be part of Okay, get the people together. Get them in order. Get them sat down. We're going to feed them. And I don't believe those disciples knew when they started distributing out of the basket they had that it would never run out. What the heck? I just took a piece of bread. But there's another one there. What the heck? I just gave a piece of fish out. There's another fish. Right. See, 5,000 wasn't magic. If there would have been 10,000 there, those baskets would have kept going. Come on. Yeah. Until 10,000 were fed. If 20,000 had showed up, it wasn't about the fact that there was 5,000. It was the fact, can you believe me and, 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 and work with me? Yeah. Partake with me in what I'm doing. So listen, all we have to church do is, it's not, people aren't gathered to hear me. Moi. I mean, come on, as, as speakers go, when I listen, to, I listen to some of my heroes, I go, wow, man, I can't even hold a cab dog to Robert Morris. So many cricket. Or Stephen Furtick. I said, Lord have mercy, I'm not even close. People don't come to hear me. Yeah, they do. Jesus says, you just lift me up. I'll yes, draw amen, 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 amen. That's right. Amen. And I'll give you what to serve them. You get them sat down. You get them ready. You get them prepared to eat. Mm -hmm. And I'll take care of what you're going to feed them. That's right, amen. amen. That's right, amen. So we all get a part in this, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. The tide is rising. Yes. This is not the time right. for us to be to, for us to be lazy, for us to be apathetic. Yes. It's not the it's not a time for us to not be in our words. That's right. Come on. This is not the time to not be in the scriptures. That's right. We could have turn another scripture about uh, about the, the false teachers that will be there in the last days, hoarding people together that will that will follow their cunningly devised mm -hmm. teachings. That's right. That were designed to itch the ears. Of the hearers, so the hearers would in turn reach in their pocket and yes. pay them. Yes. Come on, that's right. That's right. Come on. Preach it. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you just one fast story, and and this is this is not a. Please, I'm, I mean I mean this. I love the Father's house. I've given 28 years of my life here. Amen. But I've gotten so much back. It's not like I, I gave my life and got nothing back. That's right. Amen. 
It's been, it's been, it's been a, a, a giving and receiving, a giving and receiving. I came here as, as a 32-year-old with three children, a house to live in. You know what my romping pay was? Three little children. I got a whopping $300 a week. That's not a knock on anybody. You know what? Man, I was like, ooh, I got a house to live in? They're going to pay the bills, too? And my phone bill? And I get $300? I was like, whoa, man, that is awesome. I didn't think anything less of it. I had preachers in Dallas telling me, what? That's not, that's not full-time pay for the time. <laughs> What church is giving you three hundred dollars a week and calling that they I want you as a full time preacher? I still don't know what I'm going to. I'm sorry that's not full time. You'll have to get another job. Guess what? I never got another job. That's right. Amen. I don't make three hundred dollars a week anymore. God's been good. Yes, he has. He's been good. See, I didn't come here for the money. That's right. That's right. I came here because I heard God say, "Go there." Amen. Come on. Let's not be ashamed any longer who we are. No matter where America charts its course against the Word of God and against the Spirit of God, let's chart our course looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. He is strong. We can withstand anything, any persecution that's thrown at us. Amen. We can withstand it. Why? Because our God is strong. Amen. Almighty is His name. Yes, amen. El Shaddai, yes. God Almighty. Amen. That means He has all might. There's nothing He can't do. There's nothing that can stop Him. He's El Shaddai. Amen. God Almighty. Yes, amen. Amen, amen. I'm not ashamed of him or you. No. I'm not ashamed to be numbered with a, as a Christian. Yes, I'm not ashamed to be being called a fundamental Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm not ashamed to be, of being accused of believing the Bible to be literally true. Amen. 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 Call me all the names you want to. But I got a name that God gave me. You can't take that. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you stand here? Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Lord, we, we know the tide is rising. And it's going to touch every home if it hasn't already. I know you brought both peace and a sword. That doesn't take away from your goodness. You are a good Good Father. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Yes, it does. And you still desire to feed the masses, to feed the thousands. If we just lift you up, we can partake in that. We can distribute the baskets of manna of food that comes from heaven to feed the soul of a man and the soul of a woman we get to distribute that hallelujah and that basket doesn't ever have to run out for man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God and Lord if we're willing to proclaim what you say to us You'll always give us something else to say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your power doesn't run dry. Amen. Your word never returns void. Amen. Hallelujah. God, your word is sure and powerful. Oh, Lord, it's our desire for the Father's house to be a powerhouse of your word. Amen. A powerhouse of deliverance. Amen. A powerhouse of healing. A powerhouse of salvation. For all else should die is our God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
You are able to make even our enemies our footstool. You can prepare a table for us in the midst of our enemies. Hallelujah. When they're standing around the table, resenting us and mocking us and wanting to kill us, we can just sit down and eat in your presence. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. For El Shaddai, God Almighty, is our Redeemer amen. and our strength. Amen. Oh, God, heal our nation. Heal our homes. Oh, Father, we'll never be that city set on a hill till we first put our own candle on our own lampstand. May every one of us show Christ to others. Somebody's wanting to see. Come on, somebody this week you're going to meet. Somebody you know right now wants you to show them Christ. He wants you to show them the way. Hallelujah. Would you do that? Would you be willing? Or are you going to continue to walk in silence? To walk in retreat? I don't believe you will. I believe in 2020 to be our greatest year of baptisms. I'm believing it for the Father's house. Come on, would you believe with me? This will be our greatest year of salvations, of baptisms. This year, 2020. It'll happen if each of us puts our candle on the lampstand and lights up your own world. Hallelujah. Maybe there's somebody here today. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Remember when we were kids, if you grew up in church at all, we would hold one finger up and we'd sing this song in the at least we did in the Baptist church. I don't know those of you that are Methodists and, and Catholics and Church of Christ, but we'd hold our finger up and go, this is a little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Now, I'm not going to sing that song, okay? But as we sing this song, if you just want to make a proclamation that your lamp is going to be on the lampstand this year, just lift that finger. That's the, that's your, that's the lamp on the lampstand. Hallelujah. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Michael, could you put that little bridge on and come up here and lead us in that bridge? Because that's the part that really makes sense of this message. Whenever I don't see you, whenever I don't feel you, you'll have to come lead it. I don't know that bridge. No? What? The battery is dead. Uh, the battery is dead on something. Battery's dead on what? Dead. The battery is dead. Yeah. Well, we got a battery in. <laughs> on me? Even when I don't see it, you work at you never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop, working. Stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working.
And you know without a shadow of a doubt that if you walk out that door today, that you don't know Jesus. And today is the day of salvation for you. Is there anyone here that would say, that would be me? That would be me. And I need Jesus right now. Anybody? He said, be bold. Some as bold as they get. You need Jesus. Amen. So don't leave this place. Tell somebody, I need Jesus. And so I need show me pray. Jesus. I need you to pray with me. Bring them up to the altar. Bring them to the pastor. Whoever you want. Get them saved. Because this is the day. This is the hour of salvation. Amen. 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 Let's, let's, let's Amen. rejoice for our sister Alex getting baptized. Woo! Good to see our sister Jane Carter. Yeah, sister Jane's in the house. Yes, she is. She's snuck in. We are blessed and excited that you are here. And you look fabulous, darling. God bless you. Amen. Don't forget to go to the next room if you took a next room card. They're there waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs>